Metro Police are investigating the deadly shooting of a truck driver. Today, David White was found dead in his truck. It was parked on Lucas Lane next to the Love's Travel Stop. That's in East Nashville. White was seen buying food there last night. So far, police don't have any information on possible suspects. What's going on, guys? Lockout men, back with another sad story. Welcome to the channel. I don't know if you heard or not, but there was a situation that happened to a truck driver in Nashville. He was last seen getting something to eat. His company haven't heard from him, and they did a wellness check. They went out to his truck and found that he was unalived in a truck. Somebody, somebody took his life. This story comes out of Nashville, courtesy of WSMV4. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. The Metro Nashville Police Department is investigating a shooting death of a truck driver outside the truck stop in East Nashville. Police say David White, 37, of North Carolina, was found unalive on Monday in his rig on Lucas Lane, which is right next to the Love's Travel Stop. White was last seen buying food at the truck stop at 7.20 on Sunday. Police say an employee of the travel stop found White unresponsive after his company could not reach him and asked for someone to do a wellness check. We got in contact with a young lady from the safety department at KA Logistics and we had a nice little conversation with them. Hold on. Good, good morning. Hey, good morning. How you doing? I just I got the story from one of our from one of our group members. And I'm just uh -huh. reaching out first. I'm, I'm reaching out first to say to give you guys my condolences on on the driver that was found. Yeah. Thank you. you. You're welcome. Basically, what I'm doing is just calling to, to see if there's any updates, to see how you guys are feeling, and if I can get a comment or two. Yeah, we, we did release a statement, and, you know, I can definitely release a statement to you as well. If you want to send me your, uh, if you want to give me your email address, I'll be more than happy to email you our statement. But as far as we're feeling, we're crushed. You know, we take pride in our drivers, not knowing them by a truck number, but we know them by name. This is a very hard loss for us for any of us we never experienced anything like this we never thought this would happen within our organization of course because everybody you know is always well i'm not going to say everybody you know in a way i guess you know in a sense we're kind of naive thinking that we were doing the best the best to keep our drivers safe but unfortunately we can't be with our drivers 24 7 and unfortunately there's much as there's good people there's unfortunate people that are causing harm to other good people that are just trying to make money for their family you know and this was very much a senseless act um, we don't know much you know all we know is what was released to the public i wish we had a little bit more information um, we just want to give the family closure as much as us because you know like i said we're we're not just you know co-workers employees any of that we're all family and and you know and we lost a big part of our family so right now we're absolutely devastated and i don't think there's worse we can say to kind of you know try to put it into words on how we're feeling because this was an absolute loss to all of us again i i am so sorry for you guys loss he was he was last seen at the truck stop buying him something to eat and everything and yeah. I guess you guys lost contact. What what made you guys decide to decided that it was something wrong that you guys wasn't able to get in contact with him? Because that wasn't in his character. That wasn't at all in his character. He was very much, very much, very responsible man. Very much always on time. You know, pick up and deliveries. Always top. You know, communicator. Very good at communicating. So when we didn't hear from him, that was worrisome. You know because that wasn't you know he's been with us for a little while now and that wasn't in his character at all that wasn't his style he did not he did not not communicate you know so we knew we had to try to figure out what was going on obviously you know automatically we're worried so that's why we called for a wellness check because we knew that this was out of his character and and he was on and, you know and, and you know the responsibility obviously we have to our drivers is safety is one of our top priorities and like i said we kind of I don't want to say we knew because no one really knows, but we just kind of felt there was something out of character here. It was not the ordinary for him. 
Now, it says this was like in Memphis, but it says Nashville. So can you? No, it was Nashville. So it was Nashville where this, where this, where this treacherous situation Tragedy. happened. Okay. So the, so the employees went out there, they found them. Uh, they came back to you guys. I'm sure you, you guys must have just been out of after that after y'all heard absolutely a thousand a million percent we were absolutely devastated we're all still mourning the loss of our very dear friend you know it's um there's not gonna be there's not enough time there's we just can't you know we still haven't come to you know we i guess it hasn't hit us in a sense that like we still in in disbelief we're still in disbelief we cannot believe this is real so do you guys feel that that this is foul play you know we can't really make that dictation just because we're we're in a different state and you know we didn't get you know we can only go by what the detectives are working on so we're not exactly a thousand percent sure exactly what was happening all we know was how he was you know how what the detectives told us and that he was found you know obviously deceased okay being that he is in a different state of course the autopsy is going to be conducted after the autopsy, mm-hmm. would will you guys be able to help the family and as, as far as getting him back home to his family? We're actively working with the family to see what we can do in you know to assist them in anything that we can. So we're being very proactive with the family right now. And the I'm assuming the detectives still have the truck. You have any idea how long they're gonna they're gonna have the truck? No, they did not inform us of how long they'll be keeping the truck. Well, listen, thank you very much for your time. My condolences goes out to you, you, you the company, and uh, the young man's family. I I did read the the release that you guys sent over to the news as far as how okay. how much of a yeah. how much of a guy Mr. David yeah. was, and and you Absolutely. guys is pretty much hurt. What what would this do for you guys as a company now to to at least have your drivers more aware more aware safety wise? Is you guys gonna not have them not going to certain areas or what's what would be the plan? Um, as of right now, you know, we're actively working on a plan with all of our team to route them here so we can kind of take bigger precautions reminding our drivers obviously to lock our doors but we really don't know the circumstances but we definitely are promoting you know as much as we promote safety all the time we obviously release a statement to our drivers as well informing them of the situation and extra precautions that we can take and we are trying to take every single precaution we can to make sure that our drivers are safe would one of those precautions be because this is a controversy for all of us especially company drivers I'm a I'm a company driver myself and unfortunately I'm bound by policy that my personal protection can't be with me on the truck. But in this situation that happened to you guys, would would you guys have a modification change? I think that's definitely in the that's definitely in the works. Absolutely. See if there's any way we can improve because um, with every situation you learn something new and you know and as you know being in trucking as well that you can't learn this stuff in a book you learn it by life experiences and it's unfortunate that we have to you know learn certain things because we we felt like we were being as safe as possible we were educating our drivers on safety locking your doors putting your seatbelt in your door you know so they wouldn't be able to open the doors or anything and the, and the seatbelt kind of works as a lock as well you know when you you know the little with the steering wheel when you put the seatbelt over the steering wheel yeah yeah. Not not a so, fan, uh, not not a fan of that trick, but yeah, I'm I'm very No, 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 no. But you know, just in, in in general, just promoting safety, locking your doors, making sure your doors are locked, making sure your windows are, you know, just regular precautions that we would take. Now, you know, we're trying to we're trying to see what else we can do to provide them with maybe gadgets or something that'll kind of secure more their safety so we're definitely in the works of coming up with something different that we can help our drivers we just want to be able to keep them safe i appreciate the time thank you very much my social media is the recruiter call channel on youtube i would definitely put this on my platforms and again hopefully this would this would this would be a little bit more of awareness Throughout, throughout the industry that industry. 
that the drivers do need need to protect themselves and absolutely so again uh again i'm 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 sorry for your loss and and yeah thank you sir thank you, you and you be safe out there please i will i will thank you very much ma'am for your time thank you thank you bye-bye <laughs> KA Logistics also released a statement regarding the unalive of one of their drivers. It reads, David was not just a member of the KA Logistics team. He was a dedicated, professional, and reliable colleague and friend to many within the organization. His unwavering commitment to his responsibilities and his position and his positive demeanor left a lasting impact on those who had the privilege of working alongside of him. As we mourn the loss of David, our thoughts and sympathies goes out to his family, friends, and loved ones during this incredible, difficult time. We understand that no words can fully alleviate the pain and grief they are experiencing but we extend our heartfelt condolences and offer our support in any way that may need. We are working closely with the local authorities to ensure a thorough investigation into the circumstances surrounding this tragic event. The safety and well-being of our employees have always been top priority for KA Logistics, and we will continue to take every measure to enhance security and support for our team members as we reflect on the loss of our dear colleague let's remember david for the positive energy he brought to our workplace and the warmth he shared with everyone around him so guys another tragic uh story involving an unalive of a truck driver. Uh, this situation looks like some perpetrator snatched the young man's life from up under him. We don't know the details of the situation of what, what may have went on. The only time would tell. When we find out of more details for you guys, as far as the investigation, if we come up with any other information again guys please extend your heartfelt condolences for the family friends of david and the company ka logistics again thanks to the young lady in safety department to have a sit down with me to talk about david 